Hi, Pastor Dave here with our Friday night devotional. Getting ready for the weekend. I hope you can join us on Sunday at 10 o'clock for our worship service. But until then, each night we just join here in Facebook so that we can get together and just talk about God's Word. Have you ever felt like, how could God love me? If people really knew what I was like, they would know that I'm, I'm not acceptable to God. It reminds me of the story of the woman who went to her psychiatrist and said, help me, I think I might have an inferiority complex. And he talked to her for a while and he said, I think I have good news for you. You don't have a complex. And she said, really? And he said, no, you're really inferior. Well, if you felt like you're not good enough for God, I have good news for you. You are seeing things clearly. Think about it. If God is perfect and holy, then how could we ever measure up to him? If he can't abide by sin, which a perfect holy God could not, then how could we ever have a relationship with him? How could we ever be good enough to measure up? We can't on our own power. And so when you feel like you're not good enough, that's the point where you're seeing reality. And when you see the problem, then you can do something about it. It's when we think, oh, I'm, I'm so good that God is lucky to have me as a follower. That's when we're living in denial. And you can't have a relationship with somebody that's based on a lie like that. Let alone a relationship with God who knows the truth in every situation. Philippians 3, starting with verse 4, Paul understood this. He said, if anyone thinks that they have reason to put confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, in regard to the law of Pharisee, as for zeal persecuting the church, as for righteousness based on the law, faultless. Paul is saying here, if anybody could get to heaven and have a relationship with God and be right with God according to how they behaved, it's me. But he's going to go on to say, he wasn't good enough. He said, whatever were gains to me, I now consider a loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ. So Paul looked at his life and he said, I've done everything I could to do the right thing. And then I met Jesus, and I found out that all the good works I did were just garbage. The Bible says your righteous acts are like filthy rags. If your righteous acts are like filthy rags, probably because they're usually done for the wrong motives, then what is our sin? What we have here is a description of a sinner who finally realized how sinful he was and he said, everything that I thought was to my gain, I now know it was a loss. I thought every good act was bringing me closer to God, but it was actually not good. It wasn't neutral. It was actually negative. It was taking me farther away from God. Why? Because the more you think you're good enough, the less you're willing to accept the cure for why you're not good enough. The more you think that your righteousness is okay, the less you're going to go to God and say, God, I'm sorry, forgive me. And that is what we need to do to have a relationship with him. He said, I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ and be found in him not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God in the is on the basis of faith. I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his suffering, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Paul was a sinner, and he needed to come to Jesus and repent, and he did. But even when he was writing this, he, he still wasn't perfect. He said, not that I have already obtained all this or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. 
I'm still not perfect. But I am not looking back. And I'm not thinking about where I am right now. I'm looking at my goal. And one day I'm going to be like Jesus. And I'm pressing on towards that. All of my own good works, they don't get me one step closer. But confidence in Jesus gets me all the way to God. I think that's good for us to remember. If you don't feel like you're good enough, you're not. But that's okay. That's why Jesus died for you. Let's pray. Father, I pray for those that feel right now that they have sin in their life that if it was revealed, nobody would accept them, let alone a perfect God. I pray, Father, that they would surrender their life right now, in this moment, in this prayer, and say, God, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. Change me from the inside out. Make me like Jesus. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. And I accept you for life. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, thank you all for your prayers for Jill. She's having a great day today and hopefully going to keep on getting better and hopes to see you all on Sunday. God bless you.